talking so much about Father's Day, we thought we'd spend some time talking about our dads, because dads are so special. Uh, I know my dad is such a huge part of my life. Leonard Moore, I talk about him all the time on social media. Not that he would know, because he doesn't believe social media should be a thing. Uh, what I love about my dad is my dad has an incredible work ethic, and I feel like I've gotten that from both my parents, but particularly my dad, who last had a sick day before I was born. Wow. So he doesn't, uh, yeah, he doesn't understand this whole not working situation. Yeah, right. Um, but what I also love about my dad is his ability to not react. And I think mm -hmm. what he's taught me is that you can flow through life and you don't necessarily have to react to everything that comes your way. Mm -hmm. You can pick and choose. And that has mean, meant for me a much easier life. Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. I kind of pick and choose when I'm going to get all frenetic and when yeah, I, right. I could just chill, you yeah, know? Yeah. So thank you, Daddy. Love you to pieces. Mm -hmm. That's for Leonard Moore. Um, hey, yes. can we see a shot of your dad? Because this is my favorite shot of all time. <laughs> the thing, this is a very recent photo of my dad, <laughs> uh, who just turned 80 in April. Yes. And I was looking at this photo, which my cousin took, and I thought, you know, I've seen this photo before, but that's because I have this photo, the same photo of him over several years, where it's like, if there's lobsters, <laughs> it's got to be like, <laughs> some sort of yes. crop at the same so time. Right. So, um, yeah, my, uh, my dad has a great sense of humor. And I think my brother and I inherited that from him because my mom doesn't really have a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, she does in that she's, she's always watching. like, oh, they get it from their dad. So, you know, someone has to laugh at us. Um, my dad is also unfiltered. So as a kid, yes. you're just like, he'll say what he, he, what he thinks, what he means. And then I've discovered as an adult that sometimes I'm not afraid to make something uncomfortable or I'm not, right. I, I'm still Still learning that that process of and we've talked about this where mm. you're like it uh, self-employed or freelance yes. sometimes you just you need to speak up for yourself and I get that from him Good but sometimes you, I need I'm like maybe I need to dial it back a little mm. bit <laughs> I like that about you though that's why we love you thank you Lindsay, let's talk about your dad yeah my dad is Ron Ronald Wayne um, I'm definitely his his daughter I did not fall far from the tree and what I love about my dad is that he has been able to do so much with so little. Mm -hmm. He actually lost both of his parents by the time he was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And I think when you, when you experience that type of loss as a kid, um, he grew to become an adult who really loves deeply and wants everyone in the room to feel like they matter and they belong and they're loved. So like there's a running joke of dad being like, do you need a drink? Is there a drink in your hand? Because he wants to host, <laughs> he wants to take care, he wants to make sure that everyone feels safe and uh, that they belong. And I have that in me, which I love it about myself. And um, I, can do, I can do a lot with a little. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. There are so many things I can't share on here about my father <laughs> right now. Uh, he's a true personality. Uh, Tony is an amazing man. He taught me about work ethic as well. Yeah. He built a business alongside with his brothers, his sister, his, his mom, his dad. Came, they went from Italy, prisoner of war, to, to England, was my grandfather. Went from Italy, from England, forgive me, to Canada to build this business that they have today. But he taught me the most about family. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. what's happening, to stick by your family. Your family will always be your friend. Your family is the ones that are going to be there on your darkest days. And if you have your family close okay. to you, you're going to have great days. And we, we have our, our family. There's like 200 of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you guys stick together. We do. We really do. Love that. Yeah. We love you, dads. We love you.